How many pages is your checklist? It's only four pages. Four? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just turned on romantic music. Let's break one of these bad boys open. Ooh. I can't. <laughs> just, just bear with me, guys. Well, you guys, it's an exciting day. It's an exciting moment. You want to tell them where we're going? We're going to get a Tesla. Tessie! We're going to we, buy a Tesla. We already nicknamed that, her Tessie. That was so anti <laughs> <laughs> we're like, guess what so, we're doing? No drum roll, yeah. nothing. We're going to pick up our Tesla today, right now. Um, this has been kind of like a long time decision of ours. So ever since we rented a car in Miami on our Miami trip last year, you guys probably remember we we got a Tesla when we were on that vacation, just to kind of like test the waters. It always seemed fun. Good karma, you got. It. Oh. We're trying to let somebody go. I'm trying to be nice. You're welcome. Yeah. Always let people go in traffic. It's good karma. So we had rented it there. And I remember we were trying to decide. Well, you loved it right away. It kind of freaked me out just because it. it's different. We're 10 minutes away yeah. from our scheduled appointment. Yeah. And it says, hi, Yarman. Your Tesla is almost ready for pickup. <laughs> Should we go to Best Buy then? Um, not right. You I want mean, to go to the like, Tesla place? I, I think it's an automated text message. It okay. seems like an automated text message, so I'm gonna just go. Okay, all right, we'll just go. Maybe they have show paperwork. Show up ten minutes early, you know. Yeah, so we're gonna go pick it up. We really liked it though when we were in Miami. Overall, we mostly wanted to do and like have an electric vehicle. So now we have the Tesla and we have my Hyundai SUV. So those are like our two cars now. So I'm really excited. Like we also got the charger that's gonna get installed at the house. So we're gonna just save a lot on gas. It's a little bit more eco-friendly you know um and i put a lot of miles on my car i feel like i'm constantly driving so like i feel like i'm gonna skirt around town a lot in the car it's technically his car but i'm gonna be driving i, I think you should driving. because i work from home and you're always driving around and i think it'll be more economical definitely for you to just take it and you know we're gonna save a lot on gas save some money on gas we're gonna save a lot on gas yeah i'm excited tesla's a really cool car and what we got to do last week i didn't vlog it because we were really busy during that time but we went to the tesla place and they let us take it overnight so we got to like do one more test round and see if we still like it it was so funny because like we're just like all right let, let's just go to the dealership and check out the car you mm. know before we even like submit a deposit remember if we still like it <laughs> right so we check it out and we sit in and i'm like oh this is real nice yeah and they were like 10 minutes away from closing yeah the tesla advisor just says hey you just want to take it home and we're like what <laughs> for the night and i'm like wait what we didn't even like, second yeah, guess it just take it <laughs> i'm like okay so he just scanned my id and we had it for the night and we went like out on a day that was when i hit 500 and that's when you hit 500 yeah we hit 500 fun. we took the tesla out to celebrate that was fun yeah we took the tesla out that night yeah we call it tessie <laughs> If you hear us say we're taking the Tessie, it's the Tesla. I'm not going with a Tessie. You've been calling okay. it Tessie. Don't even <laughs> act like you haven't been calling it that macho man. <gasps> Is it that one? Is it that one? There's so many. <laughs> Is it this one? Is it that one? Oh, they all have license plates. There's a few. There's a few. Yours wouldn't have a license plate though, would it? Yeah. No, no, it wouldn't. It would have like a temporary tag. Oh, I see it. Oh, there, the, one, yeah. of, one of those two. Yeah, it's definitely We got one. the white one. Because... Oddly enough, the white one is the one that doesn't come with an extra charge. Yeah, like they charge you money depending on the different colors you pick. There was so much that went into this decision making, you guys. Like, there are so many different Ooh. things you can add to it. There's so many features. We didn't add on like the self-driving mode because that freaks us out and we don't ever yeah. want to have it on self-driving. Um, you can add it later though, you know, if you want yeah. to. But. And I traded in my old car. I liked, um, I like having fast cars. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as, I, <laughs> as soon as I drove this one in Miami, I was just like, "Holy crap! This is." The These future. are powerful. It's insane. Powerful cars. I know. It's um, funny. He's going from like a totally. Yeah, it's this is different for me because. He's I was a car guy. Totally like anti-electric, just because I like the noise. You he know? likes the vroom but vroom. I like the I like the <laughs> character of like a normal performance car but um yeah this is a jump yeah but i'm barely driving so it's like i'm not really enjoying that car that i had yeah and i think so. the thing is it's such a different car for him but he's also he's a big tech guy exactly so i'm i'm, I'm like you yeah, know this is a techie merging kind of car. the two 
Yeah. We're getting... Did we even say we're getting the Model 3? Yeah. We're getting yeah, the we're Model getting 3. the Model 3. It's just like the standard sedan, yeah. you know, because we already have my car as an SUV, like, yep. so he usually gets like a sedan, mm -hmm. and I usually have the SUV, so... I like being low to the ground. And, and it's I like being, you like being high up. High, yeah, you like being high up, so... I know. I have the Hyundai uh, Tucson, as you guys know, and it just feels... Like, it's higher up, but, like, I've been in higher cars than this, and, like, I, I wish I was higher, so... This is a good car Good car for now, though. Well, it's crazy, because the Hyundai Tucson has a lot of, like, tech features, too. I do love like, the features of this car. it basically drives itself. When you turn on the cruise control, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's insane. I love this car. I really so crazy. do. So, right, yeah, well, let's, uh... Do you well, want to tell them about your checklist? Yeah, well, I have a clipboard <laughs> that I'm going to take with me. It has a, it has a checklist here. Um that I'm going to use to inspect the vehicle before I accept delivery of it. So <laughs> I found it online because, you know, Tesla has their uh, quality issues, as people say. <laughs> we did a lot of so research. So I, uh, I printed out a checklist, and I'm going to go through that checklist yeah. and uh, know every deficiency that I find. Everyone that we've watched online with a Tesla, everyone always says that they run into issues, the quality's not the best, but they love it. Everyone right. we've watched, at the end of the day, they're like, but I love it and wouldn't change it. So it's like, okay, it must be worth, it must be worth some it. potential so, problems. We'll see. <laughs> we'll take you guys along on the journey. Yeah. Let's go. Yar really got, how many pages is the checklist? It's only four pages. Four? Yeah. Oh my God, he's on page number two. <laughs> Y'all missed it, I should have recorded him. He was on the ground, the actual ground, looking underneath. But honestly, kind of iconic, kind of genius. Trunk. <laughs> so I right like. now I'm just checking for the paint, for any dings, scratches, or anything like that. My favorite thing about it is that it has a trunk in the front and they call it a frunk. That's, that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy. Yar's gotten to the point on his checklist where we have made it to the frunk. Isn't it cute? It can fit um, a carry-on luggage, right? Yeah, it can. Which yeah. is pretty cool. Yep. Love the frunk. Yep. And I saw something online like on Amazon that you can buy like LED lights. Ooh, it's when you open it, it lights up? At night, yeah. Oh, I know you're going to swag this little car out. We are now inside the vehicle. <laughs> And what I'm really, really excited about with this is the dog feature that they have. Um, you can hit dog and dog mode enabled. So when you leave the car, it keeps the AC at the level. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> Gotta turn off the dog mode. Um, it will keep it at the temperature you set it at. When you close the door, it will lock and it will keep it temperature controlled in here. And it will say on the screen, I think something like my owner will be right back. The car is temperature controlled, so I think that's like really a great feature. Ooh, this is so, I love kind of watching you do these checks because I'm like learning a lot. Wow, look at all the angles. And something cool when we were looking at the car, it has like a mode where anytime someone walks around the car, it will record. So like if anyone comes around your car, is looking in your car, it records them, which is a really cool safety feature. Well, oh, he's doing the mirrors. There's a very cool elderly couple buying it next to us right now. I think that is like so cool. I just put on the cozy one. Imagine in the winter, we can go look at Christmas lights. This is so... Oh my God. I just turned on romantic music. Okay, let me turn this down. Oh my God. Okay, so like it has all these different modes. Romance mode, light show? What the heck is light show? Park yeah. outside and enjoy the show with cars. Santa, what is? <gasps> Spread holiday cheer year round with. <gasps> Transform your map into the surface of Mars. Oh, you that's, can play that's farts. A fart. This is actually hilarious. You can do fart pranks. What? Play a gassy prank on anyone. Fart on demand. Press the left scroll wheel. Fart on turn signal. Mm. <gasps> oh my god. Mm. Y'all hear this fart? I actually, this is like, come on. This is, this is great. Babe, do you hear the fart? Listen. Yeah, I heard it. Wow. Is that you? No, that's not me. You got jokes. <laughs> this is wild. This is absolutely wild. Theater, Netflix. Ooh, a little self-promotion. A little self-promo. Oh, hello, Alexandra Rodriguez. Well, bam. Oh, I'm not logged in, so I got an ad. <laughs> 
I gotta get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm having way too much fun right now. How do I, how do I get out of here? Well, I'm glad we've made it to the inside checklist so I can at least like play some games or something. <laughs> this is really cool though. I won't lie. Like this is a pretty sick situation. How do you like exit out though? There's so much to learn. And then it has like the panoramic sunroof up here which is really cool. Really pretty. <laughs> I married him because I'm not like this. Every couple needs someone like this. All right, we officially signed off. No going back now. No going back. Okay. There's so much to learn. Like, how do I make it not so aggressive? Okay. It was a long time. Yeah. Me inspecting this entire vehicle. Right. But when it came to like the driver orient, oh, that the seat warmers are on, no? No, I think it's just hot. She's been sitting here for a long. I time. think it's just hot out. <laughs> and then look at how you adjust like. The way you want it to point, like every, it's just, like that's it, That it's just a screen. It's just so wild. So it's funny how I took super long with the inspection, but when it came to like, hey, do you want an orientation? I'm like, nope, I got it, I'm all set. Where usually they probably like give like an entire like tour of like well, everything. Remember what she just said? Yeah. Some people should, some people will just buy the Tesla without even knowing a thing about it or have ever tested it. Like that would scare me so much. Cause like the biggest thing about the car for me is the gas pedal. It works as a brake too. It has a brake, but if you, it's this kind where with the gas, if you lift up, it breaks automatically. So you don't just lift up and the car will slow down. It will break. So you have to control the way you're lifting your foot, which is different. That's different. <laughs> Suspicious. Tomorrow. This car angle is not great, but we're working with what we got. And I want to try to keep vlogging on the good camera and not the car and phone situation. So we are running some errands this morning. I've got Bruni in the back. We're gonna do a Target pickup, very quick Amazon drop off at UPS. And I'm also gonna mail out the 500K giveaway winners package. So super excited. I also really today wanna make the viral TikTok strawberry dessert things where you like chop up strawberries with like yogurt and honey and then you freeze them in like little chunks and then dip them in chocolate and refreeze them and they look like a really nice dessert so I have the stuff to do that otherwise it's just gonna be like a pretty chill day a lot of editing I'm really excited to mail out the uh, giveaway winners package but it's a lot like I'm I decided to do it like professionally I'm gonna bring it to UPS and be like hey can you appropriately package this and I like kind of have a feeling they're gonna be like no <laughs> like I'm kind of worried they're just gonna be like girl no I've mailed this kind of stuff before but I usually do it myself with like just a ton of bubble wrap because it's like skincare and makeup and liquids and I'm like I feel like they're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna be like girl what are you doing <laughs> why are you sending all this so I'll let you guys know how it goes but I'm a little anxious about it, quite frankly. A few minutes later. Quick update, massive shout out to the UPS people I just went to, they were so nice. I was like, I am so sorry for what I'm about to bring in here. I brought my massive bag of stuff. It weighed 17 pounds. They packed it up super nice. 10 out of 10 experience. Shout out UPS. And I returned my Amazon stuff, so my Target pickup's not ready. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would take so much longer. It's not ready. So I'm trying to think if I need to do anything else just like while I'm out because I don't know. I like going out once. I don't want to have to go out again. So maybe I'll just peruse around. Maybe I'll just drive around and let Bruno stick his head out the window because Bruno wants to stick his head out the window. Okay, Bruno and I just did our Target pickup and I'm going to say this. You have to try these at Target. The hot honey cashews are insane. They are so good. Um, I like eating nuts for like a little bit of protein. They're just like, they're just a yummy snack. Hot honey cashews. I'm not saying these are like a super healthy snack or anything, but the flavor. I have repurchased these so many times. And then they also finally restocked. I haven't been able to find QP mayo. I bought like the Whole Foods mayo the other day and I hate it. It's like way too, it's just too mayo-y. It's like really eggy. Ugh. And then I ultimately needed dog poop bags and I also needed pads so we've got it all y'all time to head home well this is great just dandy my chili onion crunch fell out of the cupboard and just broke this pan so I'm putting I put Bruno away oh my gosh I was just about to make my strawberry brights okay <laughs> I have cleaned up 
the glass. That was a lot. But now we're gonna make the viral strawberry bites. So they cut them into like pretty small pieces first. I feel like everything tastes better in really small bites. So we'll see how small I cut these. Okay, these strawberries were absolutely massive. So I'm just gonna start with three. Cause I don't know how many of these you know, I want to commit to. I love this little Amazon tool for picking up like chopped fruits and veggies as I drop one, but it's a fun little tool. I'll link it in the description box. And then for the yogurt, I'm using some Siggy's Vanilla. It's more protein, less sugar. And I'm gonna just start with a dollop. And I'm gonna do a splash of agave. I prefer agave over honey. And give it a little mix. I feel like this would just be really good like by itself. I'm gonna add the rest of the yogurt cause like it's just another scoop. Here is what our filling looks like. Now I feel like I need one more strawberry with that yogurt. Hold on. I'll do a medium sized strawberry. <laughs> Does anyone else get like really paranoid after they break glass on the floor? Now I'm just like scared of stepping on glass <laughs> and I'm scared of the dog stepping on glass. And like I vacuumed it, I swept it like multiple times. But now I'm nervous because fun fact, when I was younger, I had to go to the emergency room <laughs> to have a piece of like really, really small piece of glass removed from uh, my foot, like the bottom of my foot because I stepped on it. So. I think that's why I'm so paranoid. This looks so good. I'm gonna taste a little bit now. Mmm. I would rather just eat this like that. <laughs> okay, so the first step after that's all set, we need to freeze these little globs first before we go back and add the chocolate on top. So I'm gonna try to make it like six maybe. I feel so bad because the dog just wants to run outside in the backyard, but with the, all the new grass seed growing, like we can't just let him run around in the dirt. So we're back to the old days of going out on the leash in the front lawn. Okay, so beautiful. I'm going to freeze these uh, maybe for like an hour or so, and then we'll add the chocolate and then freeze them again. All right, I'm back. I had a half a bag left of these Lily low sugar chocolate chips and I just melted it in the microwave with a little bit of coconut oil. So it's all melted. I didn't burn it. Shout out to me. These are in there for like two hours. So now we're gonna just cover them in chocolate. I honestly like, these are gonna be so good. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough chocolate, but we'll do as many as we can, won't we? And I do feel like these would even be yummy on their own, but everything's better with chocolate. Oh God, I really underestimated how much chocolate these would use. Oh God, <laughs> it's not good y'all. Let me see if I have more chocolate chips deep in the pantry. Okay, I have more chocolate chips hidden in the depths of the pantry. They're probably super old, but that's okay. Many hours later. All right, I just took the dog for a walk because I've been sitting and editing for hours and I needed to move my body, I felt not great. So we just took a walk right before it's about to rain. I finished the little strawberry things with the rest of the melted chocolate I made and I just popped them back in the freezer. So here is how they came out. I'm so excited to try them. I am one of those girlies that doesn't love really cold things on her teeth. So this is gonna be rough for me, but alas, here we are. Let's break one of these bad boys open. Ooh, I can't. <laughs> I, it's, way, <laughs> it's way too um, cold. Way too frozen. And now I've got chocolatey fingies. So anyway, I had way too much chocolate left, so I ended up just taking some of my old nuts <laughs> and just making like some chocolate covered nuts that are in the fridge right now too. It's got like a wad of nuts here. Oh, those are not. Those are not done, okay. Well, this is going well, mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna leave one of these out for like a few minutes and let it thaw. And then I'm gonna just put the other four. These are really big, <laughs> these are like aggressive. I think I put too much chocolate on some of them. Trial and error, you know what I mean? Either way, they're so big. Yar's out right now, but I can't wait for him to try these and see if he likes them. Cause he loves my like frozen date Snickers. That's his favorite dessert. So I feel like you'll love these too. Okay, while I wait for that to thaw, 
I got a package in from A Floral. So I bought some faux flowers. So I saw Jackie Aina talking about A Floral and I absolutely love her decor. I think she is amazing. And these are like low-key expensive, but like really good apparently faux flowers. Like they had this gorgeous hydrangea arrangement. It's like $200 and it was sold out. So they have like really great stuff apparently. And as someone who's always killing flowers, I love a good fake floral arrangement that looks real. Um, but they were having an extra like sale on their clearance. So I ended up buying some of these cherry blossom stems for a really good price because I want my vision anyway is to put them in this vase that you guys tell me looks like a urinal and I mean you're not wrong so maybe putting flowers in them will help but these are really long I think they're like 40 inches for the stems and I got four stems Ooh, they're beautiful oh, they're so pretty they're so pretty. These had good reviews. So these are the stems. They have ones that are like real touch. I don't think these were them. Cause I'm like, these don't, these look good, but like they don't look like, they don't look like real. But I think the ones that are like the most real looking are their real touch ones that are really expensive. These were not that expensive. 40, yeah, they're 40 inch cherry blossom ones. They had pink ones too, but I do think they're just really pretty. Um, one of the pictures they had were like in a big vase and just kind of letting them flow over. So I don't know. Um, since they were clearance, they were final sale. So I know I can take the tags off. I do think they look really great. They don't look super fake or anything. But I think the real touch ones are the ones that are like meant to be the most authentic looking. Um, and those are, you know, those are pricey. But I think it would be a great investment if you want to switch up your flowers keep them for years you know pull them out seasonally so let's see how it looks we'll see if we can put it in the urinal vase if not we might have to you know put it somewhere else because these are non-refundable oh, they are really pretty though they really are nice so let's see i don't even know if these will fit in here oh oh Bruno's looking at me like, Mom, what are we doing now? Okay, wait, I'm kind of here for it. Just, just bear with me, guys. I don't want to hear it. Okay, Alex, you're putting flowers in the urinal. Like, okay, just let me be. <laughs> let me live. Let me cook. Yarman's gonna come home and be like, girly pop, what are we doing? Wait, I like it. Hold the phone. I kind of love it. And listen, it's okay if you don't like it, because you know what? You don't live here. That's okay. That's okay. I'm kind of here for it. Isn't it? I don't know. It's kind of cute, right? Do we like it? I'm into it. I love it. That's what matters. But okay, I'm glad it worked because that could have been horrible. All right. <laughs> I don't know how I even look right now. I haven't even cared about my appearance at all today. And it's honestly liberating. Let's see if I can bite into this. Oh, it's still too cold. I'm weird with cold stuff, which is why it's like, why am I making this kind of thing? I'm gonna like, let it melt in my mouth for a minute. <laughs> The flavor's amazing. I mean, like, how could it not be? It's one of those things for me that like I need to just kind of suck on because it's too cold. But like, it's a great summer treat. Mm. All right, y'all, it is time for me to call it. It's like 7.30. I am going to start the new season of And Just Like That on HBO. <laughs> the, um, that's Bruno, God to Itch. The Sex and the City spinoff. It's the third season already. For some reason, I thought there was only one season. But I really love that spinoff. Like, I'm so glad it's on a third season um, because I thought it was really good. I know some people have like mixed feelings about like spinoff shows, but I think this one's really good. And I kind of love seeing them in their, you know, older era. I think it's awesome. So let me know if you guys watch and just like that. I still call it like when I tell people, I'm like, I'm watching the new Sex in the City. But like also the biggest conspiracy theory or like mandela effect i remember being a kid and it being called sex in the city not sex and the city have you guys like ever dove into the mandela effects like that the berenstain bears it was the berenstain bears like what they're ugh, it's spooky <laughs> i can't fall down that hole too much or i get a little sauce seriously though like i do feel like it was sex in the city and then remember there was like there was this guy or someone who posted they had found a really old 
like DVD or like merch for it and it said sex in the city and like who knows it could have been fake but like I don't know I just think it's a little weird <laughs> so let me know if you remember it being sex in the city or if it was always sex and the city I just feel like as a kid when my mom watched it, it was sex in the city and not that I watched my mom watch sex in the city but like I just remember it being called that like on tv I just remember that's what it was called so I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I feel like it's getting pretty long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in life vlog, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye!